Hey there guys, we're back with another build video and this time, we're resurrecting a rifle that's been irrelevant in Tarkov since, well, I guess forever. And that is the AK-101, or the 5.56mm AK. This gun was never really that viable since it had a slower fire rate, and it never really offered much benefit versus a decently modded out M4. But with all of the recoil changes in 12.12, slower fire rates and ultra low recoil stats equal more shots actually hitting your target. And let me tell you, the AK-101 is a laser beam. This is an expensive build, so get your traders leveled up to keep your cost down. Here we go. Starting at the rear of the rifle, let's equip the PT lock which will allow you to attach the Zenit PT3 stock. Moving forward, the rear grip I chose was an AGS 74 Pro Sniper Kit pistol grip, but you can substitute this for the Zenit RK3 or Scorpius to save a little cash. Remove the rear sight and then equip the Bastion dust cover and the optic of your choice. In this case, I'm going with the Vortex UH-1. Don't forget to equip a charging handle for the extra ergonomics. I'm going all out on this build, so I'm going with the Knurled. Moving forward, we're going to replace the gas tube with the Troy full length gas tube and rail combination. Then attach both a 4.2 inch rail section at the bottom and a 3.2 inch rail segment on the side for your accessories. For a front grip, you can actually choose from a few different options. If you want the lowest recoil possible, you can go with an RK2 and sacrifice a significant amount of ergo. But if you want super fast ADS time, you can go with a shift grip or SE5. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. We actually want to attach muzzle devices that are made for M4s, so equip a CNC Warrior adapter on the muzzle. Then equip a Silencer Co. ASR flash hider, then slip the Silencer Co. Saker on top of that. Once all the parts are installed, check out the stats. With the RK2 front grip, you can get your vertical recoil under 40. And with the SE5, we're just a hair over that. With a slower fire rate and low recoil numbers, that means your sprays will be very consistent and your shots will hit their mark instead of flying high or to the left or right. I've been extremely impressed with this build and I find that its accuracy and consistency more than makes up for its rate of fire. Pair this build with M855A1 or even M856A1 and you can reliably spray even at medium range. Give this build a try and let me know in the comments what you think of it. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and absolutely drop by our Discord and come say hi. We got a very big lore video coming out soon, so stay tuned. But until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.